Hi traders, the head and shoulders pattern. First, we have to talk about an uptrend. An uptrend is a healthy uptrend when we are getting consistently higher highs and higher lows. So that means the market is progressively moving upwards without taking a step so far back that it breaks a low. In this you can see we have four in sets of highs and lows, all within an increasing value in both the high and the low until we get to a point where the market does make a newer high but is unable to make a new higher low. As we can see the market breaks below here. This is the break of the uptrend. The strength in the uptrend has weakened and therefore it becomes in question and the bears have a chance to retake control of the market. The head of a head and shoulders pattern is formed when the highest high of the particular uptrend is made. We look to the left to find the other shoulder. This is the shoulder going down. This is kind of the ridge in which we need to break below. More importantly, we want to break below this one area in the shoulder. Once we break this area, the uptrend, the healthy uptrend, has come to an end and we have to reconsider exactly what will be happening with the market. The right shoulder is the one we're going to be paying attention to because that's the one that we're going to be trading. The right shoulder is formed here. So this right shoulder is incredibly important, especially when it breaks below this level. We draw a horizontal line over from the left shoulder, and this forms the neckline. You can draw this neckline at the close of the bars as well. It's up to you. But this is the area in which the neckline is drawn. Once we get a break below the neckline, we have a head and shoulders pattern formed. This is the point when we start getting retests in the market of the prior levels. As the market retests and tries to make new highs, but is held down, is when we would be wanting to look for shorts in this particular market. The head and shoulders pattern signifies a break in a standard uptrend in the market with higher highs and higher lows, and it's just an easy visual representation. You'll notice as well this is very similar to the highs and lows pattern we've talked about. We'll outline the highs and lows here. So the highs and lows would be very similar. So with the highs and lows, we get the exact same break of this low right here with the following low. This is the first time in this series of a strong uptrend in which the higher low has been broken to the downside. This signifies the end of that particular uptrend in the market. And as we get consecutive lower highs as well in the market and then lower lows, with one attempt towards the previous highest high in the mar recent market history with ultimately failing to not even reach that prior level. What about a failed head and shoulders pattern? Take a look here. In this area, we have a high, assuming that we can't see right of the market. So this area here is something we can't see. We can only see our head being formed here and our left shoulder. So our left shoulder would be in this area and we have our head formed and we have roughly our neckline. What we don't see is that push down to, bre to break through this neckline. The market would need to make it down into this area in order to break this neckline. But this is a failed head and shoulders pattern because the neckline is never reached and therefore the right shoulder is never formed. So we need the most important thing is we're looking for this break in this neckline and then further retests to find entries into the trade. Similarly, as the market continues upwards here, we have another head formed. We have our left shoulder here and we have a failure to break or reach the right neckline or right if have the right shoulder formed here and the neckline is not broken again here we have a head formed we have a left shoulder as well and we have a test down to the left shoulder and then an eventual breaking of it on the right side here with our neckline being here so as soon as we get the break below our neckline we're looking for possible retests of the neckline area to find an entry into the trade Similarly, if we're analyzing this market with the highs and lows pattern, we'll mark those off right now. When we get the failure to reach a new higher high here is when we're going to start paying attention to the fact that this trend has possibly reversed and continues on its new downtrend in the market. The head and shoulders is only to give you a 
bit of an interesting visual representation on exactly what's happening. It depends if you choose to use the head and shoulders looking for a break in the shoulder line, or if you like a high low pattern to analyze this, as you're looking at nearly identical criteria for the trade. One thing you can do if you're holding a long trade going into a head and shoulders pattern is to identify the neckline. So we'll identify the heads on these and we're talking about the left shoulder forming the neckline here. So the left shoulder here and we identify the neckline, we can move our stops up to and around that neckline. That way that if the market does end up forming head and shoulders pattern, we're able to get out of the trade when the market retests and then breaks that level. Or we're able to stay in the trade if the market, like in the first two examples here, continues forward. So as we get a new neckline on the left hand shoulder for the second head here, we're able to move our stop up along with the neckline allowing us to stay in the trade if we're doing a trailing stop method. And for the third head, when we get the new left shoulder forming here, we can continue to move our stop up to keep us in the trade instead of taking early exits. Do you have any trading topics that you'd like covered? Leave a comment below and we can dive deeper into all things trading. If you just enjoyed the video, please subscribe or leave a like. And as always, this is Bruce Banks saying, enjoy trading.